best way to learn medical terminology and to be the best student that you can be. So here are our study tips for you. So one, there's a lot of memorization that happens in medical terminology. You've been presented with word lists for each of the units for the things that you will have to know. These are the most common words that you're going to find in some of medical terms and medical documentation. So making sure that you do the memorization component is important. For some people, this is very easy and for others, this is difficult. So let's talk about this memorization piece. If you know these word parts, you don't have to memorize thousands upon thousands of separate words. If you know the word parts, you'll be able to put together prefixes, roots, and suffixes and come up with a definition, even if you've never seen that particular word before. So the first thing you should do is to learn the individual parts of the term, rather than studying full medical terms in their entirety. All right, some additional study tips. Again, you've been provided with word lists. You're gonna have some practice assignments, some case studies, maybe some online purpose games or other things that are given out to you by your instructor. If you're not taking a formal class, there are a lot of things online and things that we provide for you to help study. Making sure that you do all of these assignments and to check your answers is really critical. Make sure you have an understanding of the content before you move on. Devoting enough time to study and not just cramming everything into one evening. I know we've all done it. However, when you put everything into one evening and you try to study for one night, you might be smart enough to get away with getting an okay grade on the test the next day. However, that doesn't really promote lifelong learning and you're going to need this material to do your job someday. So you wanna make sure that to memorize and to really understand this material for the long term that you spend some time studying and that you set aside various nights every week that you are taking a course to study so that all of this stuff is inside of your brain for the long term. By taking it in smaller amounts each day, you actually have a better comprehension and a better usage of the material than if you try to do it all in one giant study session. Same with homework. It's tempting to cram it all in the night before a homework is due. And while you'll complete the homework and you'll probably even get a good grade on it, this doesn't allow for your best learning opportunity. When you do the homework spread out as it should be, to do studying spread out as it should be a little bit various times during the week, you're going to remember more for the long term because you are spending a greater amount of time with the content than if you try to cram it all into a shorter or a longer but shorter day session. Some people also learn by just looking over the words. So you can just repeatedly read through those word lists, go over them several times, and make sure that you associate the word part with the word. You can also use Quizlet um, to print out the word list or to even print them out as flashcards and making sure that the more repetition you do, the easier those words become. Even better, if you've got some friends who can help you study, a study group can keep you honest. They can help quiz you, you can help uh, break up the workload, um, but by setting aside several times a week to get together with your study group and to quiz each other on what you know so far from the content, you are setting yourself up for success. Some people learn best by writing or by drawing. In this case, writing will do the trick. You might want to get yourself some index cards and to take the word list that you've been provided and to write the term on one side and the meaning on the other. The physical act of writing this out is also a study tool. And then you've got some flashcards to study the terms from. This is very helpful for a lot of people, so you may want to consider this study tool. And the more you look through those flashcards that you created, not only have you reinforced some of your learning by physically writing out the words, but now you've got a great set of flashcards to study for tests, quizzes, and homework assignments that you can always reference back to. Remember, you are responsible for your own learning. 
So the more time you spend, the better grade you get as a student. Make sure you set aside enough time to devote to your coursework to be successful. So making sure that you have built into your schedule various days of the week, time to study, complete homeworks, do quizzes and other assignments will help you be successful. Your professors, your instructors are there to help you through the material. This series of videos are here to help you to understand the content and to make sure that you grasp the main meanings. Utilize those things as often as you need to. Okay, making sure that you rewatch videos of concepts you don't understand and to do additional work until things are clear. This content is extremely important for you to learn. This is part of your future job. It will help you understand the next level of material that you are going to learn in your medical classes. If you have a good medical terminology foundation, it makes all of the learning you do in the future much easier because you understand the words and the terms that are being presented to you in all of your courses. So making sure that you set yourself up with a good foundation now is critical.